Um, it seems like the more we're connecting online, uh, you know, the, the smaller the world's becoming, we're also becoming more uh, neurotic and depressed. So what what is it about live interaction that's different about, you know, than talking to somebody as as we're talking right now as over we're talking now. Yeah. digital means? So, I mean, yeah. I cannot but, cannot smell your th- smear, uh, <laughs> smell your pheromones through the digital digital. Uh, there's no way to do that yet. Maybe in the future, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, don't tell <laughs> them. <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to say something inappropriate then, but I won't. I'll, I'll move on. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, we, we, there's multiple things, right? From from an evolutionary point of view, when when we actually met someone, we we would first, you know, identify with our friend or foe by, by the face, which is really really important. But there's multiple aspects to that. It's not just the face, but also eye gaze. Um, so eye gaze is really, really important for us, which we don't get. You you and I have the eye gaze now because it's just you and I talking to each other. But if you have more than two people on any one of these chat groups, you'll have multiple faces all looking at you at the same time. Now, if you imagine if you're in um, down at the park or, something, or you're at a pub and, and five people come up to you and all stood in front of you, um, just staring directly at you, how you would feel. You, you would feel very confronted by that. Um, mm-hmm. And so our brain automatically, when we have that, when we have multiple faces all looking at us and directly at us, becomes confronted by that. And, and there's this automatic process which says, hey, this is not normal, this is odd, which is why most people don't like doing meetings and all those sorts of things on those those platforms. And most people will turn off their video cameras or they'll look uh, away and do other things because yeah. it's really confronting to do that. But also when we normally would actually meet up with someone, we actually touch them. So appropriately mm. touch them. And and all societies have some way of appropriately touching each other when we actually greet. So in stoic societies like here and in the U S we'd shake hands with each other. Um, he, he, uh, even the Inuits, um, they actually rub noses because it's only part of their skin that's actually showing. And the reason we do that is we have sea fibers on our skin and the sea fibers are actually just there for touch. And that's the only reason we have these sea fibers. And they activate an area of our brain which releases oxytocin. And oxytocin is, the, well, they call it the love hormone, right? It's, it's actually a neurotransmitter that makes us more connected to the other person. It makes us more relaxed. And it makes us feel as though this person is someone we actually like. And so we get that as well, which we don't get when we're actually on the screen. Um, and then we also got the body language. So I can only see you from the shoulders up. Or if you're on Instagram or any of those things, you just see, you know, part of the person or you they're not moving, right? But we have a mirror neuron system. Uh, and the mirror neuron system actually mimics what the other person is doing in our brain. So we actually understand what they're doing. So, yeah, it, it was originally done with monkeys where they'd reach out and pick up a peanut. Um, and then a monkey watching that monkey reach out and pick up a peanut, the area of their brain to enable them to reach out and pick up a peanut would activate the motor area. And also their muscles activate to a sub-level, so they don't actually move, but they activate a little bit, which is is really important for us as, um, to connect with each other. So <laughs> you've probably seen, I, I, I do a lot of presentations with, with um, teenagers. I do a lot of stuff in schools with um students and uh, and it's amazing you look at the group and you can tell which are the groups that actually hang out together because they'll all be sitting in the same way and again that's because of that mirror neuron system is yeah. it activates with the people that we're actually connected with and we'll actually move into the same position without even knowing it because of this mirror neuron system so we'll actually mimic each other in our body language so that we actually say hey we're related to each other we're in the same group um, and that's why you'll see teenagers hanging out together or sitting in the same way or walking in the same way or um, and so on because they're mimicking each other through this mirror neuron system. And we don't get that when we're online as well because we don't see the whole body and we can't do that. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of other there's pheromones as we talked about just before, so we're not getting the yeah. pheromones. So again, doing the touching, either shaking hands or you know rubbing noses if you're into that or whatever it happens to be, when you actually greet someone, actually activates not only that, the, the C fibers and oxytocin, uh, but also pheromones because you're close enough to actually get those pheromones which go up your nose and um, into your brain. And that'll activate serotonin as well, which is also 
uh, a neurotransmitter that will relax us and make us feel better. So when we're online, we tend to just get dopamine. We just get this hit of dopamine, which is associated with, of course, addiction and all these things. And so you get this hit of dopamine, which is only uh, short-lasting. Um, and so I, I, in the book, I think I talk about you know, the difference between fa- eating fast food versus eating a home-cooked meal. And with online interaction or online communication, it's like you're having a fast food meal. You get in the dopamine as you do when you eat fast food. Um, and that's all you're getting. Whereas if you do it face to face, you get all these other neurotransmitters that we actually need and we've evolved to actually need. Um, and they make us feel better and they make us feel better for a much longer period of time.